After August bank holiday, Cornwall likes to send the rest of England back home after the best beaches, the best entertainment and the best food and drink, with a big smile on their faces. But these boys haven't read the Cornish Hospitality Manual, as they aim to send their English visitors back home with nothing but aches and pains. That's right, rugby has come home to Hellfire once again, as Redruth take on Shelford in the first National League fixture of the season. Every player in Redruth's starting 15 played Colts Rugby in Cornwall and has played for the county too, eight of which came through Redruth's very own talent factory. They welcome back Captain Fantastic Craig Bonds after a season in the coach's hoodie, whilst the departure of Mark Bright gives Tom Duncan the chance to claim the Cornish Kiwis' number eight spot. Nick Simmons plays in his only competitive fixture before travelling to Australia for a year, whilst new boys Simmons and Williams wait their turn on the bench. Shelford, meanwhile, are hoping to improve on their relegation dogfight last year under the influence of fly half Harry Owens, fresh from Barking's epic campaign last season. Aaron Pemberthy kicked off the 2011-2012 campaign for the Reds, and immediately the strength of the experienced Cornish pack started to show, with Richard Brown being held up just short of the line. The resulting scrum saw Redruth put a substantial shove on, driving the visitors back towards their line just enough to tempt Tom Duncan to pick up from the back and dive for the line to open the scoring after just four minutes, with Pemberthy converting. The home fans didn't have to wait too long either before Redruth racked up some more points on the board. Richard Brown turned defence into attack, and the ball eventually found its way along the line to Lewis Vinicum. After a bit of juggling, he showed a bit of speed before chipping the ball forward, only to be pipped to it by fellow wingman Tom Notman, who made Pemberth's life a bit easier by racing inside as he grabbed try number two after only ten minutes. Shelford came to play rugby too though, and soon tested the home size defensive metal as a chip took a cruel bounce with Owen Hamley chasing back to save the day. Owen soon opened their account with three points after indiscipline at the breakdown. But a line-out horror show saw Chris Vuka pounce to open his account too after 19 minutes. Shelford fullback Jay Williams, having a good game all afternoon, hit back just three minutes later into the corner in front of the Frame UK hospitality suite. But Redruth continued to dominate as Tom Duncan pressed for his second try, only to come short. This time it was the turn of Nick Simmons to power through the shelf of defence off the back of the resulting scrum, grabbing Redruth's fourth try in just the first half. Pemberthy then grabbed his third conversion of the first half finishing the scoring 10 minutes from the break, 26 points to 8. There was just enough time for one more chance when Pemberthy chipping through the defence before the referee deemed that he had spilt the football forward. The second half was a different story though, as the Cornish side began to struggle to turn their superiority into a points. After a series of mistakes by the home side and some more resolute defending by the visitors, Shelford began to believe that they were still in the game. Sure enough, they eventually closed the gap to just eight points, when Williams distracted Duncan and Luke Collins long enough for Owens to dart through the hole for a try which he then converted after 53 minutes. Shelford continued to press, but Redruth eventually rallied to stretch ahead once more and dispel any lingering doubts. Tom Notman brought the team up into the opponent's 22, shrugging off Williams' challenge to run on a second time, before offloading quickly to Nathan Pedley. Shelford gave away a scrum. And Chris Bailey passed past the lurking Owens to put Man of the Match Simmons in for his second try with only 10 minutes left with Pemberthy converting to finish the scoring on the day, 33-18. There was still time for heroes to nearly turn to villains though, as Simmons blasted a box kick straight into the back of Peter Joyce's head, 
But Redruth ended up bagging all five points, leaving Shelford with nothing. How important was that first win? Uh, vital for the season, um, especially after three months of running and uh, pre-season games. To get a first win is, is uh, very satisfying. Although the performance wasn't as we wanted, you know, the result was fantastic and you know, we can't argue with five points, so that's a good start to the season. Yeah, definitely. We'll Bonus point in the bag. And uh, so where from here? Well, we've got a number of areas to work on. The problem with pre-season is you don't always know where your weaknesses are. So we look at the DVD, look at where we were weak in that game, and we'll uh, go from there and look at that in training this week and try and improve. Um, yeah, we're creating lots of chances. It felt like we should have scored 50 points, perhaps. We've bombed three or four tries. Um, so well, that's a good sign that we're creating. We've just got to finish. Um, so lots of positives, a few negatives that we'll focus on, but um, we're pretty pleased with that as a first game. Great stuff. Cheers, Greg. So after two tries, you're going to be sad to, yeah, to be so, leaving? Yeah, it's nice to go out on two. I wasn't very happy with my performance as such, as a few things went wrong, but it's the first game of the season. Hopefully things will get better for the boys and pick things out as we go along and yeah, we'll progress and hopefully have a good finish this year. So a year out in Australia, looking forward to coming back already? Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, I definitely miss this, so something definitely I want to come home to. So, good yeah. stuff. Cheers, Nick. Cheers, thank you. So Shelford head home with the rest of the holidaymakers with no points to show for their travels. Next weekend, Redruth will be joining the Exodus up country as they go to take on Worthing, currently topping the table after a 20-point victory over Clifton. Then the weekend after that, it's the big one. Redruth versus the Cornish All Blacks. Expect passion, pride, tackles and tries as the wreck comes alive with the biggest crowd of the season. We'll see you and the rest of Cornwall there. Come on.